Okay. Good afternoon. And <laughs> we're still in the world of diversity in sexualities. Uh, my paper is Musical Mothership, Revisiting the Relationship Between the Diva and Thai Gay Fans. Uh -huh. and okay. Okay, we start with uh, the situation. The situation in LGBT rights and equality uh, is it get bad, it gets better now in many parts of the world. And, and okay, I will talking about LGBT the is LGBT is what? Uh, LGBT is L is for lesbian. G K B bisexual and T is transgender. But actually, we still more alphabet. <laughs> To, to call this kind of people, it's just LGBT, IQ, I is for intersex, and Q is for queer. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, uh, okay uh, I will raise an issue about the same-sex marriage, uh, for an example, uh -huh, to talking about it. Uh, actually, now it's about uh, 20 countries to legalize the same-sex marriage around the world, and we are expecting the good news from Ireland, Ireland Finland, <laughs> and Mexico uh, in the coming years. Mm -hmm. But in Thailand, Thailand, uh, same-sex marriage is not legalized yet now. But uh, many gay couples live together to build a family, and they throw a wedding ceremony also. Mm -hmm. But they don't go to the government to register. <laughs> and okay, uh, but. But when we look at the uh, music business, mm -hmm. so many artists, so many singers have come out in, in these recent years, just as uh, Steve Grant uh -huh, and Ellie Lip. Uh, they are from USA, uh, they were in USA, and actually they are popular from the YouTube, uh -huh, but now they release their own singles in the, in the USA market. Um, in the UK, we have Will Young. Mm -hmm. Will Young is the first winner of the Pop Idol program uh -huh, and come out suddenly <laughs> after he has a position. And uh, here is Oli Alexander, the lead singer from Years and Years Band. Mm -hmm. And this one uh, from UK also, Sam Smith. Mm -hmm. Sam Smith. Uh -huh. uh, he is a singer of the soundtrack from the latest episode of James James Bond. Yeah. Okay, um Kursky band, uh they're from Ukraine. Uh -huh. but actually uh their outfit is challenging very much to the normativity, but they don't mention about their sexualities. Okay, uh in Southeast Asia, uh -huh. Sebastian Castro, he is Peruvian Asian, mm -hmm. and he was in Philippines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in Thailand, in Thailand, we have many, <laughs> many singers come out recent year. Uh, here's the uh, Thomas, Thomas from the Giant. Wong Giant, Japanese rock band. When you were young, <laughs> when you were very young, uh, and. Eki, uh -huh. he's the he's the member of the <coughs> boy bands in Thailand about twenty years ago. UHT, Pete Pon or Pete the star, he's the contestant in the the reality show about singing at the star. Mm -hmm. But three of them don't active in the music business now as their main as their main career. Mm -hmm. And the person who is still active in music business is Ok Bong Sang. Ben Chala Thit. And Jean Cassidy. If you love the indie music, you must know him. Yeah, there are the gay singers in Thailand, but you know, you know there are many singers who come out already, but when I ask the people to say about the singers who can represent the gay music, the answer is Beyonce, Lady Gaga, and 
for the Thai singer, Christina Aguila. No gay singer to represent gay music. Yeah, they are diva, and we call. Uh, and recently, in in the this past few years, uh, they call uh, Thai audience call the diva with this word. Tua <laughs> man. Tua man means mother. Mother. <laughs> man, man means mother, but tua is a pronoun. Uh -huh. <laughs> so man means to to address the people that you very much respect. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. In these few years, the term diva is replaced by Tome. When the fans compare their divas with mother, the level of relationship sounds changed in terms of worshipping and adoration. Mm. This paper aims at exploring the change in relationship between the divas and her gay fans and to examine the role of heteronormativity in gay music culture. Okay, we start from the popularization of the word Tuo Ma. Tuo Ma is popularized in the one stand up comedy mm -hmm. by the legendary No Udom Da mm -hmm. in 2008. Mm -hmm. And then after 2008, the word Tuo Ma is used awfully in many kinds of media, such as uh, the internet and also the book mm -hmm. on your left hand side, the cover of the book. Mm -hmm. is how to win how to win the Toma, the girls who is very complicated <laughs> <laughs> and uh, on your right side is a is a Thai title for the film Bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. uh, to 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 tell um to talk uh Doma in this in, in this title means uh, less like a bitch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're getting married. Uh. Yeah. Your best friend. Yeah. Um, place for them. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And recent years, uh, <coughs> actually, the Doma is called for ordinary women who is complicated and very hard to understand. <laughs> and recent years, uh, we. We use the word Tome to the public figures also, the celebrity one, the singers, the actor, the actress, sorry, the actress, or the actress, and uh, such as Araya mm Ehaget. -hmm. Everybody calls her Tome. But mm -hmm. she is a real, real woman. Yeah. <laughs> born, woman born. <laughs> not, not the lady boy. Not the lady boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, uh, so I'm. So I collect some papers to discuss with this data. Mm -hmm. The first paper is Craig Genex. Mm -hmm. And the summary of his paper is Lady Gaga's queer personality and performance challenge normativity which take gay fans to somewhere they don't know but love to live there. Uh -huh. and In the Amigo <coughs> paper, uh, gay fans use female singers' voice performance and her gazing at men's bodies. Most of them is semi-nude, uh, shirtless, <laughs> to reveal their identities. Uh, it's like to 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 use the performance and the women's eyes of the singers uh, to reveal to tell the society that they are gay um, for the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we will look at the. The singers that Thai fans call them to man. The first one, Beyonce. She has over femininity. You can see that she is very beautiful in every appearing in the media. Uh -huh. And her appearance so many times is close to the fantasy, beyond the reality. And for Thai singer Christina Aguilar also share the same quality. So beautiful and sometimes beyond the reality. But Madonna is different one. Uh, she challenges the social normativity, just like this show. Uh -huh. You can see that her robe is looks like a Pope's robe. Yeah, and the priest robe. And so many times she used the cross on the stage performance. 
Okay, and uh, Simanut or Shirtless Man many times appear in music videos and concert of the Madonna and Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see that Gomez singers have special character or unique personality which are beyond social expectation or banned from uh, the normativity. They could be termed weird, rebel, independent, or over femininity. Gay identity is considered non normativity also and shares the common space with the domestic personality. We have the same quality. Okay, in my thesis in 2010, mm -hmm. <coughs> I found that uh, divas <coughs> used wide range of dynamic from softest to extremely loud, which fulfills the dramatic performance of musical lyrics. The mystery experiences in gay men's life leave the traces that no one prefers to remember and some of them turn to be scars. Voices and outlet to release the, this inside tension, gay men are benefited from extreme performance in terms of letting off their pressure in life. Okay, let's see the example. Okay, you can, in Beyonce clip, mm -hmm, you can see the contrast in her vocal performance. And they choose hello. Is it clip? Yeah, clip. You're everything I need and more. It's written all over your face. Maybe this I can feel you. Let's play with Lady Gaga mm -hmm. and her excessive and emotional performance. It's a VMA award. Oh, sorry, American Music Award. Performance. The last part. Okay, let's see uh, Thai singer <coughs> Christina Aguila and her over feminine performance and unique vocal style. Okay, okay. 
uh, I will show you a really short clip uh, to save the time. And uh, you can see that three singers can vary their voice and tone colors to emphasize the uh, or, or exaggerate the meaning of the music and lyrics. Consequently, her musical expression is full of drastically contrast dynamics and it can catch the gay audiences. You may say that, oh, she's a powerful singer, but it's meaning but the meaning is more than that for a gay audience. Okay, I will take you. I uh, will take you to the three gay singers who are still active in Thai music business and observe their performance. The first one is Ok Bong ทำใจของฉันมันรักเธอรักเธอเธอรู้มั้ยฉันจะตายเมื่อมองเห็นเธอกับเขาที่ไรเหมือนผู้ชายคนนี้you can see that his vocal performance is very similar to some female singers use the whisper it's like <laughs> yes yeah, that that mm, actually men don't do <laughs> singing like this <laughs> okay and okay to hear the benchala teeth mm -hmm. so they don't have their live performance <laughs> that the, the whisper sound and the top voice, uh, top of his range in the same song and, uh, and, and it's vulnerable and sentimental. Mm -hmm. And okay, the last one is Jean Cassidy, but, the, but he is quite different. Don't you ever give up on me Cause I ain't gonna stop loving you, yeah Don't you ever leave me here alone, baby Cause I go so insane if you do, yeah Take a chance I can see in your eyes that you wanna dance Take a chance Let your golden body flow so you can hear his performance. Take a chance. <laughs> Romance. <laughs> yeah, this, you can see that uh, gay music chants use an abstract elements uh, such as the uh, tone colors, uh, melody, uh, the beat, or the whisper, or the loudness of his voice uh -huh, to convey their identity more than using the language using the vocal performance instead of the language to reveal their identity. Um, it's the same way that the divas to send her message to gay fans. This reflects that uh, these gay singers are the daughters or the sons of the diva culture. And it secretly suggests that this might be the proper way to communicate gay identity to the public. Uh -huh, okay, and... Uh, this is uh, the last part. Uh -huh. um, <coughs> I also have a column in the newspaper, but 
already over. <laughs> you know? um, and so many times that I write about the uh, gay singers, uh, sorry, gay icons and uh, gay fans, uh -huh, and they found that uh, to support each other it plays an important role in constructing this special relationship between the pop divas and gay fans. Mm -hmm. So you can see that uh, in Christina Aguilera, sometimes she wears the rainbow flag, uh, symbolized as a gay anthem flag mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in her concert. Or uh, just like a Lady Gaga, she, she always joined the uh, human rights campaigns uh, and found one this way foundation to support gay rights and equality in American schools. In my point of view, uh, domain singers should comprise of the non-normative personality, uh, second one, ability to perform the drama in music, and the third one is special connection to gay community. Actually, the usage of domain doesn't signify any change in relationship between the diva and gay fans, but it reaffirms, reaffirms the power of heteronormativity over the society which cast out people with non-normative per, non personality to stay together. Heteronormativity silently exercises its power by not allowing gay people talking about their stories in the public. Straight people can frankly say what they want to say, but LGBT people need to encode gay accent in the look like ordinary stories just to save the social atmosphere. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, Sula Pong Sukhasad from Kamasad University. Um, he made his revisit, uh, interesting word, to the relationship between the diva, which now we know as a Tome, the mother of uh, humanity, and the Thai gay friend. But actually, I, I see a lot of um, uh, common culture to the the world, the, the global uh, perception to to this diva. So uh, I I open up the, the floor for um, our uh, commentator, our, our audience, to 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 share uh, your idea with him. I got a boring scientific question. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, when we were researching communicative musicality, which is the way that we communicate our inner feelings with one another through the timbre of our voices, the quality of it, um, we work with various we work with various kinds of spectral analysis. Mm -hmm. This is very very boring science, but in fact, I wondered if you'd have thought of that approach because some of the ways that you're describing. The, the gay singers and also the divas about the quality of voice, um, mm -hmm. you know, the whispering frequency. Actually, you could very clearly demonstrate him, you know, spectral analysis. It might be very interesting. I mean, um, if you're interested, I could get to you the communicative musicality spectral analysis system, which can capture, um, like we, we began working with mothers' voices, um, communicating with infants um, uh, and and babies, and how they communicate deep feeling through change of color in voice. So I'm just wondering if, if there isn't a bit of science to follow this. But it's a very interesting topic, you know, the way that such complex social messages and um, personal messages can come in spectra. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to say. Mm. Okay, thank you for your suggestion. I, I need to try the spectral analysis, right? Mm. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, people can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they okay. do, they're doing a recording okay. for, uh, for the, the, the sake of this origin. Yeah, just, <laughs> I just feel, uh, have you ever talked, I mean, to, to, to buy something like, uh, the different, I mean, the, your, your, your topic, you try to show about the, the quality, I mean, the, the way they, how to say, 
and push the the thinking the thinking style. Are you talking about the style? Four program style. Okay. Yeah. No, just just my quick question is, I mean, have you ever met the the uh Andrew Gao gay thinker? I mean, I want to know how it's different. I I quite believe that they should they must sing very different way. Okay. Uh, that's just just my question. Okay. Uh huh. One way to approach the style. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Um, you know Jean Cassidy. Uh, he's the lead singer of Futong. Wong Futong, you know, right? Uh, Futong is underground music. Uh, about the fifteen years ago. Uh huh. And he's the lead singer, and he sings like this. <laughs> Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, but uh, actually, uh, Jean Cassidy doesn't show much powerful in in his voice, but uh, the style of singing is very, very uh, they use the um, many times they uh, he used the uh, whispering sound, mm -hmm. or just to make them feel a uh, floating, mm -hmm. floating away and use use the. Uh, the thin voice, uh, and it sounds similar to women's voice. One thing that I'm really curious about is that, um, you know, when when you like, you know, like trying to analyze and then those like um, uh, transgender uh, singers by like you know like you conclude that um, their voices and then you know use this kind of like a uh, whispering. I I don't know. I mean, um, it's like you know maybe it's myself that I'm having problem with this kind of. You know, what's the criteria? Of, but but. Like the question, or uh, maybe like, why you are looking at that thing? Because uh, when we're saying like other uh, transgender singers, like <coughs> Mark McConnick, you know, Sunny U4, you know, it's, I mean, they don't, you know, like, well, you can just, I don't know, I couldn't find that kind of whispering, <coughs> like, tone. Maybe perhaps it's kind of more, just, it's very subjective, and then, you know, it depends, like, I mean, it can be like, any male singers or, mm. you know, you can mm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. what is your yeah. methodology, like, you know, yeah. criteria, and why you, you know, like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, um, well, uh, okay, for, uh, for, for the first part, uh, we, sh we need to separate the trans artist from the gay artist. Mm -hmm. Trans artists may uh, include Chen 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 Sung Nen, Bel Nan Pita, Mam Lang Kuning or Sunny Yu Fo. And actually, they, w w when they sing, they sing like straight people. Mm -hmm. But uh, and sometimes uh, with with more powerful voice. Uh -huh. But gay singers is different. I think it's different. Uh, you asked me why I I focus on the whispering. Uh -huh. uh, actually, uh, the lyrics, the lyrics in the song uh, is influenced influenced uh, by many factors, such as uh, the music is supposed to sell. Mm -hmm. So they cannot write. The song talks about homosexuality much. Mm -hmm because they have to sell the music. Mm -hmm. So the lyrics, the lyrics or the content of the music 
needs to be understandable and acceptable from the mass market. Um, so, but the singers who is gay cannot hide their identity when they sing. So, so they use more dynamics in singing to reveal their identity, mm, such as the softer than the normal, the normativity, I mean, uh, or louder than the normativity. Mm, it's quite a symbol. Mm -hmm. um, as me of a methodology, um, actually, it's subjective because gay men's experience is subjective. I am not sure because then mm -hmm. wouldn't be that like different if you know like I mean male singer like singing songs and then use that kind of techniques because I mean this thing is quite like mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know a tree because I mean uh -huh. maybe uh, I I can like you know coming back to Professor Osborne yeah. you know like suggest of. You know, uh -huh. this like spectral analysis, like scientific approach mm -hmm. to this kind of thing. <coughs> because you know, when you say like, like have like more dynamics and then my range of, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't get it. I mean, <laughs> just very yeah. like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just like. <laughs> yeah, perhaps I, I have to invite uh, both of you to make a further discuss uh, coming <laughs> off the break uh, because we have uh, quite a short amount of time. But anyway, um, very interesting question from uh, Jan Tanshatam. And uh, if we close our eyes, uh, this, the, the power of music comes through sound. Uh, perhaps that the reason why they, they use a uh, you know, uh, different uh, ways of think, uh, singing, but yeah, we, I have to remind you also many gay in in uh, other uh, aspect of music in opera they they sing with a very powerful voice, uh, you know, and the 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 term divas have to be re explore again because um, when you mention diva to the the pop industry, it affect to that definition of diva in uh, uh, outer mu mu music uh, uh, culture, uh, like divas in opera, divas in uh, folk music. Um, it, but uh, this acceptable uh, diva in the uh, music industry in this day. And uh, perhaps you have to study more of uh, the comparative uh, thing with the, the, the 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 male fans and the female fans to this to compare to the gay fans how they think of this uh, diva. But anyway, uh, I have like to to say thank you so much, Ajahn Surapong Supraser, for your presentation. We have uh, two more before our uh, coffee break. Uh, the next one will be.